Hey my friends, what's up and welcome back to this new video. In today's video, I would like to dive into an app called Haiku. Haiku is a cool app that lets you create animations and export those animations uh, for your native iOS and Android apps. So usually you create an animation in apps like Principle or you define them in Sketch somehow and there's a big gap from uh, designing this and bringing this to life as, as a developer. Um, and I think this app Haiku has such a great potential to be a bridge between us designers and our ideas and the developer who has to develop the animation that we thought about and that we uh, concepted. Um, you can get it at the link that is down in the video description. I think it's haiku.com, but check out the video description and I will give you a small little overview about the app. So you have to create an account and log into it. And then you will see something like this. Uh, I already created some custom projects, but these on the right side, these three are the basic uh, examples that were in the app. And you can create a new project by clicking this plus button and you can give it a name. But I think I will show you the animation that I created uh, because I think that will give you a great impression of how this app works and what it, what it is able to do. So what I did is uh, to create an onboarding animation for a project that I have uh, with the company that I'm working at. So we have a project, we wanted to do a little onboarding with a few screens and a few animations basically. And uh, you open up this project right here and you see that we have a layer panel on the right. This is basically just a list of elements uh, that you have to use and you need to basically drag them over to the right side and position them inside this screen. It's really like a early access version. It's not perfect. It's not showing any dimensions right here. So you are not really sure if your uh, arrow is placed correctly, even though you can check it out uh, in this section right down here. But I think it's getting there and I think they are improving really fast. So as I said, you have your layer panel right here and you also see that we have a sketch design file right there. Uh, we can click those dots and say we want to open up in we want to open it up in sketch. And basically it this Haiku app works together with sketch. It works together perfectly because all of those Haiku animations that you will create need such a sketch file. So it's showing some random stuff right here, but it's also showing our artboard with the designs that we have right there. And uh, that's really awesome. So what we do right here, what we see right here is the, uh, the, the, like, the, uh, the icons and so on, which we will animate in a few seconds. Um, and all you have to do inside this sketch file is to uh, make them exportable. All those elements that you want to use, that you want to um, like export, just uh, select them, hit export icon or export like whatever you want to export and it will only transfer those exports into uh, the Haiku app. So we open up Haiku and it's also life changing. So if you are exporting something else, like example, for example, um, I have something right here in the tutorial, which we usually won't export. And I would like to export some of those stuff right here. I can say make it exportable and it would update our list right here. And it even updates our design inside here. So if, for example, if I change the color of this red, uh, uh, of this green button, of this green indicator dot right there. Um, then if I change it, for example, to blue, it would automatically update it in here as well. Okay, so now let's do something about the animation. What is it all about? So we have this little eye toggle preview icon right there and we can say we want to check out the preview and you see it's a small animation showing us you can swipe left and right and change the different views right there. Okay, so 
let's disable this again and let's check out our bar right here our section that is basically the timeline and i set it to uh, seconds and you see that we have a few seconds right here we can also scroll through it and you see that there are some keyframes added to it and it's basically a really simple animation i have my phone which is just like a background layer then I have an icon, and the icon is the, the hand and the arrow layers, and I have two ovals. These ovals are the green one and the, the gray one, and they are changing once the hand is at a certain percentage. So, for example, I have my icon, which is the hand, as I said, and you see that the position uh, attribute right here is animated. Let's click it and see the details of it it's changing the uh, X position because it's just moving horizontally. And we also see that at this point right here, if we can also select it, um, that there is something that is changing. At this point, the green dot is becoming gray and the gray dot on the, on the right side is becoming green. So our hand is moving from the right to the left. And once it's there at this certain position, those ovals right here are changing. And what I did here is also quite easy. I changed the opacity. It's just changing from zero to one without an like transition or something like that, just plain uh, from zero to one. And that's why it's just like this gray small line right here. We also have this line right here because the hand is obviously not just changing from position one to position two. It's slowly turning into the position, slowly moving to the position. And what it does is it's moving linear. You can also change it to ease in, use one of those. Uh, but I, I thought for this hand animation, it's moving uh, left and right. Uh, the, the linear uh, transition is good enough. Um, I also made some more complex uh, animations and they are working fine. So I think you're not able to animate all of the stuff right there. Um, I have the feeling it's just some basic stuff. And it's sometimes a little bit hard. I think I will make a separate video about the problems that I faced and the things that I need to consider when animating my sketch files. But that's basically the process. And I think this has really some potential right there. So give those guys a like a download or some feedback if you use it already. And I think um, it has potential because, oh, and I forgot about the exporting aspect, of course. Uh, we can export our animations super easily. So it's charging, it's loading up my animation and we can export it using a JSON file. So right here you see, boom, it's exported and I have uh, different ways to export it and use those different files. I can export it for mobile, iOS, Android, and React Native. I think iOS and Android is just the same file. I don't know why they put their uh, two separate names. You can also export it as a GIF uh, and also use this shareable link. Uh, if you create such a mobile export, then you can download your JSON file and use it with Lottie. Lottie is an awesome, I don't know, framework or something like that uh, made by Airbnb and the design team of Airbnb. And it's just awesome. I will also link that down in the video description. And prior to Haiku, this just worked with Adobe After Effects. And if you're a pro in Adobe After Effects, you probably don't need to use Haiku, but I don't know something about After Effects. I think it's also really hard to learn it. And that's why I think Haiku is a great alternative and it's developing super fast. So heads up to the Haiku team. I'm pumped about it and I'm sure and I'm happy that they will develop it and it make it even better than it already is. So thank you guys for your time. I hope you enjoyed this video and we see us on next week. This video was sponsored by Dev Mountain. If any of you are interested in learning UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12-week design bootcamp intended to get you a full-time job in the industry. 
You can learn more about this at devmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and we see us in the next one. Bye!